if I had a nickel or a penny, the warded man, the painted man, the warded man, the painted man, why haven't you checked out the warded man? Why aren't you talking about the Demon Cycle series? All right, all right. Let's get back to books and let's talk about the Demon Cycle series right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, let me first thank you for staying tuned to the channel here at Planet Tyro. Thanks to the subscribers and a big shout out to the people who love my audio book reviews or book reviews. A lot of people tell me that, you know what, I love your taste. I love the books you reviewed and can you do some more? Yes, I'm always reading books continuously. I'm just a bit selective what I talk about on the channel. And today we're going to talk about the Demon Cycle series or five books, which I'll just tell you now, I really did enjoy but I was actually disappointed with how it ended because in a way, I feel like a lot of the concepts the author was dealing with was unfinished and I personally feel like he is going to revisit some of this stuff. So for the majority of this, I'm going to talk about this with no spoilers, but then at the end, I want to get into specific reasons why. So guys, if you just want to hear if I really enjoyed the series, I did for the most part. And I'm going to talk about the graphic audio version graphic audio if you don't know it's a audio production house that have a full cast of characters it's like an audio drama every character's voiced by someone else is awesome i've spoken about them so many books miss born so many books that i that, that i really enjoy so if you want to check out the series again it's on audible but i would say that if you can check out the graphic audio version if you can't then get on audible that's fine so for those of you who don't know what this is about and should i read what is this about don tell me what this is about and let me see if i like this okay so the demon cycle is set kind of a, it kind of actually reminds me of attack on titan for my anime fans out there in a, in a lot of ways but it's about it starts with a main character called arlen bells a young boy and in this land it seemed the world seems to be overrun by demons. Every night, demons rise from the earth and they're just slaughtering humans. The see, I don't want to get into too much spoilers, but the series starts off with a boy and his revelation, his journey to fight back the demons, finding a way to fight back the demons. And his change revolutionizes the whole world and rises humanity to go against demons. And it's a very, very... There's a lot of concepts here I really like, but... What I will say is one of the striking things about this series and actually one of the things that annoyed me is the, its execution. The first book in particular, it starts off, you know, focusing on Arlen. Then it moves to a, 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 a girl named Alicia. Then a really young boy named Roger. The story in the first book threw me because it kept on moving from character to character. Now, I will say this. The first book really focuses on three characters in the same universe doing different things and it all come together at the end i wasn't sure how many characters this book was gonna throw at me but to be honest with you it was a unique take and I, I i found myself falling in love with each character and then when the story shifted to another one all from the beginning and i'm like why am i listening to someone else go back to ireland oh i like this alicia paper go back to her oh roger i don't care so but by the end i have to say to the author's credit I cared about all three characters at the end and when they converged at the end of the first book, I loved it and the writing is strong here. One of the, the one of the things I really like most about this book is the world building. It is really concentrated. A lot of characters. Couple of main characters, I would say even through the whole five books, you'll be really focused on five or six characters. But Arlen Bales is the main character. It is revealed that this world has a lot going on, a lot of rich history and it's really engaging. By the time I got to the second book, I was thrown another curveball that I don't even know if I enjoyed. The Desert Spear was a whole new character, a whole new culture. And when I mean a culture shift, I mean it's like you're a Westerner and all you read is comic books and then you're thrown into Africa and a completely different language, a completely different culture. And it was so jarring. Like the first, like the first book, I didn't understand why the author was just throwing me to the left. But again, to the author's credit, I fell in love with the character and it was really great to see such diversity in this book 
And one of the themes I love about this book, and I think it's the number one theme I love about this book, is everyone in this book has a different perspective, a different belief system. Not everyone, but you've got different cultures colliding. They're fighting each other. There's a lot of diplomacy going on here, but it's never really boring. But the author writes this very deep, rich, character-based story. And by the end, you, you've got a lot of protagonists and they all have their perspectives and they're not really good or bad. It seems like one character is a villain, but by the end, even this, even this being called the demon cycle, I think that's one of his biggest weaknesses because the demons are the antagonists, but the characterization between the main characters is much more interesting than the demon killing is great action. Don't get me wrong. And I love that. I love the magic system they use, which I haven't even touched upon. Warding, the warding magic system. Love it against demons. Amazing. But yeah, man, I, I actually love the fact this book didn't have a super main focal antagonist. And the author even is always throwing at you what is right, what is wrong, what are demons. These are things I've read in other books before. And what is power? and how do we use power and the lust for power all of these things are loved now i don't want to go book by book to say what i did what i liked about it what i didn't like but by the third book i think every, most things are set in stone you know all the main characters there's there is still jumping here and there but the characterization is great the character writing is great and i love the overall story but i have to say some of the things i didn't like was by the end i felt like the focus of the story started to drift a little bit. Now, I watched an interview with the author talk about the writing process and how, you know, being an author and having one series and writing books every year, it's not as easy as you think. And I, I honestly, I've read so many books, I can kind of sympathize and I prefer for a series to be done. But by the end, by the last book, I think it was the Skull, the last two books, The Skull Throne is the book I liked the least because I felt like the, the the author was focusing on characters I didn't care about. I wanted to really focus on Arlen and Jardia and their thing. And it was focusing a lot on the politics around the world, fighting each other, the factions, which is, it, we spent a lot of time on that. And now the whole series was coming to a climax. And I just felt like even in the last book, the core, there was so much rich tapestry going to the core the characters going to the core that really should have been the focus of that book and it really wasn't i didn't feel like it was i felt like the the upcoming demon war and how the you know above factions the earth factions were all fighting for power how they were getting ready but arlen and jardia and rena going to the core what that was about and i just i was frustrated by the end of it because i just felt like the very end resolution was a little bit do it am i saying this right do it six machina just a little bit rushed and i just felt like the author was always promising you that he was always talking about things about power it's just power it's not about the demons there's a deeper meaning to this things that happened in the past and then by the end just kind of swooped in and something fixed and you know i don't want to ruin it but it felt very underwhelming and not only that i felt like things that were promised were not even touched upon now, to the authors, to be honest with you, I, I, there's a YouTube video of the author talking about the book series and talking about he's very happy he finished this book, he, he, he this series. And a lot of authors do not finish books. And I have to agree with him. There's a there's a book series called The Lightbringer series by Brent Weeks. I reviewed it on the channel thinking it was finished. It wasn't even finished. And that really upset me. And there's a lot of, even George R.R. R. Martin with Game of Thrones. Some authors don't even know how to finish a book or they don't want to and... All this outside stuff now this author wrapped up this series but to be honest with you i think he let a, he, he let a lot of loose ends fly just for the sake of finishing the series and it was wrapped up in a in an okay way but i reading the book i felt like i was promised deeper meanings to the character's belief especially arlen bells arlen bells keeps talking about feeling power and it being more than just evil and i really felt like there was something he was t trying to touch upon the author that for some reason he didn't want to and it just ended the book ended without touching on that greater meaning and it ended in a very predictable way in a very traditional fantasy way and the author's better than this i just thought this is very traditional 
And there's so many times this book series surprised me, but I love the characters. The characters are phenomenal. The diversity is great. The action and the magic system, the warding, the painted man, that is so great. And I love the fact that just Jardia and Arlen, these two characters, these two brothers, the, you know, the Goku and Vegeta dynamic, you know, these two brothers in arms. And I just love this story. I was engaged. I was engrossed. I would almost say this was this would have been one of my favorite series of all time if that ending didn't just leave things unfinished in my personal opinion and I'll get to that in the end so it's been a long discussion a lot of people talk about this book in high regard and I really do like this series it was a great graphic audio did a great job on the narration the characters the voices amazing the magic system the world building is all good. My main problem with this book series is that I just think it, the, you know, the character shifts are great in the beginning. It's, it's very, it was jarring. I got used to it. I liked it. But by the end, I feel like the, 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 the writer was focusing on things that just weren't interesting. Characters you haven't heard from in ages. You know, the, the two, the two uh, and I'm going to be a little bit specific now. The two characters that raised Arland as a surrogate mother and father, I think the name is Rayland and Raylan's wife and they brought them we, we focus on them for so long and you know the core there was promises of things to do with what's beyond the core what happened in previous generations but for all my criticism I do feel like the author stopped and I I I, I truly foresee him picking this back up again there's children now involved that are going to carry on the legacy things aren't finished there's still war in factions demons aren't exactly gone one of the main bad guys kind of got away <laughs> but it's a complete package it's a great bingeable series and let me tell you something again i watched the author's youtube video he's proud he finished this off and he, he's given the listeners the readers a complete story and in a way he did and in another way it's unfinished because he he kept on promising certain aspects that were just not finished it felt rushed at the very end i just felt like oh really but but in saying that again i think he's going to return to this world just like the mistborn trilogy where we've got two trilogies mistborn's three books then it's a future version same thing with the death stalker series i've spoken about before it had an original you know five books and jumped into the future i foresee the author having another trilogy with the with the with the children characters and touching on what Arna Bells is talking about and the hereafter and what power is. But the a lot of the philosophy in this book is truly engrossing. I love the messages and the, the, a lot of the belief system about right or wrong or you know being super religious or non-religious is really down to earth. And I think it's in, the, in today's culture, I think it makes a lot of sense. And the author is very conscious of what he was writing. And I think he did it really well. And it's not in your face, super diversity, different cultures. It actually feels natural. And the, the way the author throws you in, in a very uncomfortable, jarring way. But to be honest with you, you really get to love the characters. And for that, I really enjoyed the series, you know, and I won't forget it. And I would bet a lot of money on the fact that he will revisit this, this universe and he will add on the loose ends that he's left and a lot of people might not even feel about it like i do that it was wrapped up nicely the author has just shown a level of depth with his writing that he abandoned at the end in my personal opinion he was bringing up really good theories and philosophies that at the end he just said you know what let's just happily ever after this for now <laughs> and i will revisit this later that's my thoughts on it so i was actually going to get into spoilers but i don't really want to i would recommend the demon saga i wish it was actually called the painted the warded man saga that would i just love the warded man love that title i know it's called the painted man in different countries i don't know why warded is just so much better i would give this series the demon cycle series a uh, high solid b high solid b. i thoroughly enjoyed it Love graphic audio's production on this great story great philosophy jarring in its execution at times but overall i think it's worth it little bit of a lackluster ending but to be honest with you author said it himself at least i finished my series 
<laughs> you might want to, you, you know, after you read the, the series, I highly recommend watching his YouTube Q&A where he just speaks to the camera, answers a lot of questions. And he's got a lot of novellas, which is just short stories to fill in the gaps. But to be honest with you, I'm, 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 okay. I'm okay with the main series. So did you read The Demon Cycle? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Again, high recommendation for me. Check out Graphic Audio. Looking forward to definitely seeing the author revisiting this universe. I know he will. But let me know what you think. You might disagree with me. But again, it was a good book. Good book series. Don't let the name Demon Cycle throw you off. It's all about the characterization between the characters on, on the Earth. If it's set on Earth. But yeah, I've rambled on long enough, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me with the book reviews. If you want to know... One of the book series I'm dying to talk about is the Middle Falls series, a time travel series which has really touched me and has actually made me think about life in a, in a very different, unique way. I know I sound very sappy about that, but for now, I'm also going to say check out that series on Audible. I really like it, but it might not be for everyone. That review will come out when that series is finished because I think that's a 15-book series. I'm only on book 11 right now, and it's really great. So if you just want another recommendation... Check out the Middle Four series. It's not the same as fantasy. It's more real life with some science fiction elements. But anyway, I'm going to get the hell out of it, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in another book review. In fact, leave your book recommendations down below. Maybe I'll get to it. Maybe not. But I'm glad I got this one out of the way. It's been on my mind. And I will see you on the next recording.